Hello. <laughs> oh, fuck me. What am I doing with my life? Hello. This... I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now, but I, I decided to record a video. So, hello, everyone that's watching. I have no name for you. I'm not special. I'm just like your average shitty YouTubers. Um... I got up early and I feel like shit, so you know, don't give me don't give me a fucking, you know, lecture about force positivity like fucking PewDiePie does. That's right, my character's even looking down, they're so fucking depressed. Anyway, um I saw this video on YouTube. Uh, I I will put it on the top right while I'm saying this. Um about Taffington Boathouse and how he made this really productible um water business. And I thought, well, for one thing, it's a bit undefendable and a bit ridiculous, so I'm here to make something better. I want to make a business that is not only profitable, but can actually be defended from the back, unlike his, who had a giant gaping hole in it. So, um, if you'd like to know what mods I'm using, I am using Clean Up, Tappington Boathouse, uh, Place Everywhere, and a bunch of settlement mods. If you want to know all of them, I'll happily comment them. Or oh, Actually, no, I won't comment them. I'll put them in the description. If you comment, you want to know the exact mods I'm using uh, for this armor and shit like that. I, I don't really care that much. Or how I got my hair to be purple and why I'm using a female character, you can ask. I, I'm a guy. You know, it's it's normal. It's completely normal. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to be that guy anymore and we're going to go to Taffington Boathouse and get our bills on, so... Yeah. The problem with the uh, the original clan of his building is that he basically set up stores inside his settlements, which means, you know, they're going to have to be sold from his settlement. But it makes more sense to, in fact, just grab the purified water yourself and sell it to uh, vendors in cities. Of course, you can set up the stalls as well, but I am one of those people that likes to make cap fast. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have recently uh, worked out that if I make a fucking vault uh, lunchbox, you can make a lot more money than if you... Where's that guy, Nathan? Anyway. Um, you can basically make a lot more money selling it to a vendor than you can just selling it from your own settlement. Alright, well, I struggled to find out what I should actually build out of, but I came across junk fences. Uh, as you can see here, I'm sort of building away from the... Um, uh, the shed. I decided halfway through that I wanted a gate uh, on each side. I don't exactly know why, it just felt like a more of a defendable thing to have a gate than not to. Um, this part got really annoying as I had to keep, uh, you know, making and putting down more different parts. Uh, I had to keep getting real close and the snapping really just died to get to me at that point. Uh, I did take a break I think after this. Uh, yeah, you can, you can see I'm having to just constantly keep changing things. And then I got to the gate, and I think I just had a quick break. Well, after my break, I decided that I would be making some scaffolding around the ocean part here. And then once I would finish the scaffolding, I would put a uh, metal wall around it. I don't know why I was messing around with that bridge, it just, it just was. Um... For the sake of making this place, I put metal around the bottom, but I didn't put it around the top or around it as much as possible. Uh, some of the companions were getting in the way, so I told them to stay, stay put, which I should have done right from the start. Uh, the reason there isn't metal on the top is that I'm trying to keep a sort of uh, a regional sort of reason why they'd be building a settlement here. So, like for this settlement, you wouldn't expect them to have crap tons of metals, so I decided to only do like a, a rare quantity of metal and uh, have wood as every other thing is to hide things, but they can't shoot through metal, so that's what I'm trying to get at here. I had to end up just taking off the scaffolding just to put some different things in. I then re-put it in, but it still looked alright. Still had gaps in it. So I decided the wood piece to go on the top. As I said before, I wanted to pick uh, wood that seemed like it was relatively around this area, so I decided uh, wood panel and just wood planks. As you can see here, I'm shooting through the gaps to point out that they're there uh, to myself. I then went underwater and tried to make the foundations look more realistic. I couldn't really find anything I liked, but I just went with these ones that looked semi alright. I wasn't too happy with them, and I'm still not happy with them as I am now. Uh, if, I had, if I had to really go back and do that, I would. <laughs> but uh, it's okay, it got the job done, and I don't really mind it that much. It's, like I'm, it's, just, it's just there to look good, really, from afar. 
other than that, other than the foundations, I think that's about it for this part. The first thing I tried to do was um, tr attempt to fix the gaps between the metal walls. I think I succeeded quite heavily. Then I decided I wanted to make a cover up so they couldn't, a sniper couldn't shoot through that area, as it's being pointed out right now. Then I decided I needed a doorway on the other side so a sniper couldn't shoot through there as well, but you can still get back inside. Uh, don't worry, I fixed that weird glitchy wall there. I then had a run around. Uh, I think I decided after that to put another foundation down and do some ramps. And then I tried to put an armory door on, but that failed, of course. So I just went for a rusty corrugated iron door. I then decided to put the doors on and decided that, that looked awful. So I tried to make a bunker door and a little door version. I then went, you know what, this isn't working. And I just scrapped all of it and I put a doorway in. And I put some more paneling in, just so it was used to hiding. It doesn't matter if you can shoot through it because it's not like they can see where they're shooting. And then I put, boarded up all the windows. I even bought up that uh, door window because I felt like it was necessary. And that's what you can see me doing right now, just boarding up all the windows inside the house instead of holding one of the windows. So next I decided to start putting all the water purifiers down to see if I could start making some money as fast as possible. Which I did. I tried to fit them and compact them as much as possible. As I am using the Place Everywhere mod, I am just making them look like they could fit there and just putting them there. I don't really care if they actually can fit there or not because, well, it doesn't actually matter that much. I then wired them all up and started on a shack on the outside. I put a, a couple large ones in there and a medium one, a couple other small generators. I worked out, uh, I think, regularly that it wasn't enough power. I then tried to put in a vault reactor, decided, nah, and then I decided this other way of doing it. I put up some medium reactors. I put up some large reactors outside. And I turned into a little shack. There's a power shack. And then I wired it all up. Which took longer than I wanted because I had to use connectors and different other power pylons. But it worked in the end, and that's all that matters. I added a few more generators because I thought it wasn't having enough power going through it, and then I went through and made sure it was all connected. And then I added a door. And that was up the shack. I then started building the interior. I thought sleeping bags would be good, but then I instantly went against that, put some beds down and said, you know, I want this place to be nice for the people that live here. I then tried to make some table side areas so people could play, like, put some candles down or something like that. Even put some lanterns on there intact so they could turn it off at night. Tried to make it like they didn't have too much electricity, you know? And went for like a cafeteria type of area. Didn't make me too happy, but it's all right. People started coming in. I put a table down, it was enjoyable. I then decided that the barn would be used for a farm. So I thought, well, why not? It makes sense. I did end up... So then I decided I wanted to rebuild the way up to the top of the boathouse. I went back in and fixed a few things at the barn. And then I put... Yeah, the floor. I made an easier way to get up. Made it look semi-realistic with some pillars. Put some supports up. I then put some railing on the stairs. Then I decided, okay, time for a guard tower. I tried to do some MLG tricks to put the foundation in. It worked to a point. Not very well, but it worked. Um, I put some guard towers on it and went, you know what, I think I'll prefer it in the middle. So I moved it over to the middle instead. And I fell down a bunch. Decided I wanted the guy that had an armor to be the guard. Put a couple missile turrets up. Put some normal tires up. And then I decided I want a generator, so I went with a windmill. I then started on the interior of the shop part of uh, the boathouse. I decided to just put some DIY shelves around. If you don't know, don't know what they are, um, I'll happily comment you with the, the mod link. But they're very good, and I use them on most of my builds. I then tried to make it look like it had a waiting room because tons of people were trying to get into my water storage. 
put some portraits around, tried to put the weird ones around, but you know, you gotta put a few in, makes it feel realistic. Put a few rugs down, try to make it look like there was a carpet in there. I gave up with that because it looked awful and just left it for a few places. Put some more shelves down, put things on the shelves of course. It was hard to decide what I wanted on the shelves because I was like, okay, maybe we only sell more than water because anything I can really put in there. I then put some lights down inside the house so people could see during the night. Put down some guard posts all around inside the actual base itself. That was our final walkthrough in fast motion, of course. Going through, taking a look at the store. Now we're going upstairs. Here's the insides. You can just stop pause at any time if you want to take a look. Then we go up top. I don't know why there's Brahmin there. Onto the roof. See the place itself. Overall, I think this build was a very, very good use of my time <laughs> in life. I had very much fun doing this, so if you did enjoy, please just, yeah, do that thing. Alright, see everyone later. We come into here. We go down to P for purified water. Um, here we go. We sell the amount that we got. See, look at that. Holy fuck. So I'm down to about 400 and... I think it was 447. So about that much. So you make... From just me fucking around, I made 4,917 caps. Just like that. I will sell the other ones because I don't use purified water that much. Actually, I, use, like I, I just straight up use stim packs because I'm a normal person. There you go.